hey guys welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video now the way i'm dealing with this whole lockdown situation is trying to turn a negative into a positive so obviously we can't go anywhere at the moment and we've got more time at home so the positive i'm taking from that is i've got more time to do things like self-care because before all this in everyday life i've got three children i've got a job i do my youtube I'm looking after the house everything else there is no time for self-care i just don't find it and if i do get the time i'm usually too knackered to be able to do it but life has slowed down somewhat and i want to encourage you to take that bit of time and do a little bit of self-care so i've got together a load of products ones that make me feel good make me feel nice and just i think at this time anything that makes you feel good has got to be a good thing so i'm going to talk you through all of my favorites so and also off the back of this i want you to if you do any of these and do any self-care inspired by this video i want you to tag me on instagram and it's at katie walklet um, because i want to see what you guys have been doing self-care wise at home so anyway without further ado let's get into the video okay so first up let's talk hair care now i've really been trying to like avoid heat on my hair i've just been using a hair dryer to like blow dry it straight um but the other thing i've been doing is a mask now because i've got that little bit more time i've been actually putting this on the night before and sleeping with it this one that i use although there's loads of good ones so it doesn't have to like specifically be this one use whichever one you've got this is just a pantene intensive repair and protect one um and what i do is I pop it all over my hair before I go to bed, just comb it through. If you've got one of these like wide tooth combs, they're the best because they don't create so much damage. Um, just comb it through and then just tie it up. If you've got like a little scrunchie or something to tie your hair up with, put a towel down obviously over your pillow and sleep in it. And then shampoo and condition it your hair in the morning. Honestly, like my hair has had such a shine since I've been doing this. I really, really recommend doing this. If you haven't got time or you don't want to sleep in it overnight, just like pop it on. Try and, because like I say, we're not in so much of a rush generally now. Um, pop it on like as you, when you get up and then have your breakfast, something like that. Something like an hour or so before you go into the shower and then wash it off. And it does make a difference than just using it in the shower, I find anyway. Um, but yeah, so any mask you've got at home, just give it a try using that method okay next up we're talking face shaving now this isn't in any kind of order i'm just grabbing them as i find it so this isn't the order you should do it in or anything um but yeah i mentioned these before in a, a favorites video i think i'm still just as hooked guys these were off amazon they're a pack of five i think they were only like 12 or 13 pounds i will link what i can down below obviously um but yeah i'm just so hooked on this i do it about every three or four weeks um i know a lot of people get concerned that it's going to cause you like you know the hair to grow back thicker but it doesn't it's just like the vellus hair and any dead skin that you're getting rid of but it leaves your skin so soft your makeup will go on differently you'll notice and yeah now we've got that bit more time you can watch the youtube videos on how to do it properly and just honestly i don't think you'll regret it okay next up we're talking face masks now i love a good face mask i love the sheet masks i rarely go into like home bargains and don't leave with one um i am in fact all out though so go digging in your cupboards see what you found i found this elemis papaya peel which is really really nice i've done a couple of those um and then i found a little primark one that i had stashed that obviously just haven't had one in ages this is just a de-stress cream mask perhaps use this after a day of homeschooling the kids while we're trying to work that's a fun day um but yeah just dig around your cupboards see what you can find and give your skin a little pamper while we're on the topic of skin i just wanted to quickly touch upon skincare now i've heard a lot of people saying oh i'm going makeup free and that's brilliant um but a lot of people rely on spf being in their makeup and whilst i don't particularly agree with that because i don't think you'd ever put enough makeup on your skin to give you the you know protection that you need when you go makeup free you've literally now got nothing on your face so please invest in an spf this is one i really like it's the avene um, be protect factor 50 it's really really nice doesn't aggravate your skin doesn't clog your pores anything like that and no nasty smell to it but just make sure if you were relying, like I said, not so I say that I agree with it, but if you were relying on your makeup being your SPF protection and now you're not wearing it, be aware that you need to be wearing this every day. We don't want wrinkles, we don't want premature aging and we certainly don't want skin cancer. So make sure you're wearing this every day, even the days it's overcast. Right, let's move on to like moisturising our bodies now we've talked about the face. So I don't know about you, but during lockdown, my skin has been really, really dry on my body. So I was on the lookout for something. I hadn't really got any like nice body creams left or anything like that. Um, and somebody recommended to me, why don't you try an oil? And when I was in Lidl, randomly, the other day doing the shopping, um, I came across this. It's the Sia Nature CN, I don't really know how you pronounce it, sensitive body oil with organic almond. And oh my god, apart from the fact this smells 
amazing it has worked within a few days that's what it looks like within a few days it has made my skin so soft like my legs and my feet were like especially dry i don't know whether maybe i'm thinking about it whether it's maybe because you're in like flip-flops you got your legs out a bit more i don't know um but yeah it's really nice so basically it just says when your skin's damp like when you get out of the shower or the bath and you're just a little bit damp squirt a load of this on rub it all on let it settle in it settles into the skin quite quickly but honestly this is where it wonders and it was such a bargain it was only like two or three pounds i'm sure there's loads of different ones if you can't get to Lidl, if you just have a look on like amazon or look fantastic or somewhere all those places are still delivering but yeah it's made a really big difference now on the topic of dry skin we all must be feeling this one and it is dry hands because of obviously how much we're having to wash our hands even the kids are complaining to me about their hands being sore and one of the hand creams we always have in obviously any hand cream you do is going to help this one is like mega strength though it's called the o'keefe's working hands hand cream now this one was like a lifesaver to me when i was on my accutane treatment because my skin was so so dry um but it's coming in really handy again now now you can get it on amazon sometimes they have it in aldi actually if you shop in there you can keep your eye out in the middle aisle sometimes they have it um but it's really really good it's quite thick but my hands are literally drinking this stuff up at the moment but it's got rid of any dryness that we all had on our hands really really quickly within a couple of days um so i just slather a bit of this on you know um a couple of times a day probably sometimes before bed and it really really does the trick Okay, something else that's been making me feel really good during lockdown is to fake tan now i think it's just something about having a bit of a glow about you just makes you feel a little bit better it's like faking the holiday glow isn't it without going on holiday because obviously none of us are going on holiday anytime soon and my tried and tested is the bondi sands the liquid gold one it looks like that um i love this stuff it's really quite foolproof if you're a bit of a beginner to fake tan just one piece of advice don't try doing it after you've had a few wines because that won't end well um but as long as you blend 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 i found it doesn't streak it wears off really easily it's just the perfect shade for me just to give me a bit of a glow i put it on this morning and i just after about five minutes i can put my clothes on just go about my day and then i just wash it off the following morning it just gives me the perfect color um and i probably do that i don't know once a week sometimes a little bit more at the minute maybe um obviously oh i just use any old mitt as well this is just one i had from another fake town but anyone will do um but yeah obviously your hands are kind of wearing off a little bit more than perhaps they normally would because of all the hand washing so i just top it off it top it off top it up in between with the bondi sands everyday gradual tanning milk this is just like a bit of a moisturizer so i just pop it all over my hands um, and then just wipe the palms off with a wipe and then that just yeah keeps it topped up on your hands um i also do do my face as well so i use these which are actually just from primark so obviously you're not gonna be able to get hold of those at the moment um but i think so is it isla paradise do a tanning drop um maybe some tropez can't think now um have a look online um but these ones i just mix it in with my moisturizer and just go over my face just to give me a bit of a glow it just it's just something that i do that just makes me feel a little bit good so maybe try it, it might help you too Okay, let's talk feet now my skin gets terribly dry especially like around the backs of my heels and things so now's the perfect time to get them in shape for like flip-flop season isn't it so i've been using the flexitol heel balm now it says to this it just says um apply once or twice daily morning and night to dry and cracked heels and feet now if you can bear sleeping in socks then put it on and then put your socks on over the top overnight if you can't I totally get it just do it through the day if you can with the socks just kind of like locks it in a bit more um but this has really really helped my like dry heels they're not really cracked or anything they're not that bad but they do get really really dry and then obviously when you start wearing flip-flops they just get even worse if you don't take care of them so i always try and sort them out about this time of year um and then of course when you're in the shower this has been used but i just popped it back in the um container um and this is just from wilkinson's but you can get them online it's a foot file so when you're in the shower and your skin's as soft as it's going to get just go in or maybe have a little foot spa there's an idea get yourself a little bucket with some hot water um and yeah just scrub 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 until you kind of get rid of all the dead skin and then moisturize lock it all in and yeah get your feet perfectly ready for summer season Okay, last but not least i just wanted to touch upon a few of the makeup products that i've been using during lockdown that have made me feel good now i did try going makeup free for a few days but to be honest it just didn't feel like me i actually enjoy putting my makeup on it's part of my routine in the morning so to keep me feeling normal i've gone back to getting ready every day doing my hair doing my makeup all i've done is i've just scaled it back a little bit um so i've been using a tinted moisturizer and this is the one i've been using it's the nars tinted moisturizer i use the shade san maritz medium one just for reference um just so that i'm not 
wearing a foundation every day. I really love this stuff. I've not found a cheaper alternative. It is about £30. I do always try and get it when it's on like 15% off voucher. Um, but it's so, so nice and it lasts for ages because you only need a tiny amount. It's quite sheer, so it's not going to give you full coverage or anything like that. But I just go in with concealer anywhere else. I need a little bit of extra coverage. But it's so, so nice. If you've not tried it, I highly recommend it. Um, and then something else that I've been using. If you've watched my channel for a while, you know I bloody love this stuff. It's the Mario Badescu Skin Facial Spray. Um, this is the Aloe Cucumber and Green Tea one. I love this stuff. It's so refreshing. Like I said, with feeling like quite dry skinned, this is great. I use it after my makeup to set my makeup. Any time throughout the day that I'm feeling dry after I've cleansed that sort of thing and this is so affordable you get it on beauty bay um I think it's about 11 is it 11 pound for this size or seven either seven or 11 pound for this size but it lasts ages a bottle of this um I just tend to order like a bulk load of them at once um and work my way through it but it's so refreshing it gives you that really dewy look um and yeah if you're suffering with dry skin I think you'd really really like this and that is everything that I've been using to give myself a little pamper. I really, really hope this video might inspire, even if it's just one of you, just to take a little bit of time out and have a pamper um, and do a little bit of self-care. Honestly, it does wonders for the mind, especially while everything is so crazy right now. Like I said, don't forget to tag me on Instagram, whatever you're doing self-care wise, I really want to know. Um, if you did like the video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.